Let's revise all the important points which we covered until now. Until now, we have covered what is testing, testing misconceptions, typical objectives of testing, testing and debugging, why is testing necessary, testing's contributions to success, quality assurance and testing, errors, defects, and failures, and its causes defects, root causes, and effects, and seven testing principles. In What is Testing, we covered Definition of software testing Software testing is a way to assess the quality of the software and to reduce the risk of software failure in operation. And if the software does not work correctly, such softwares are called as faulty software. Then, we covered the impact of faulty software, and they are loss of money, loss of time, loss of reputation, and injury or death. Then, we covered three testing misconceptions. Testing only consists of running test cases. Testing only involves the execution of the component or system being tested. Testing focuses entirely on verification of requirements. Next, in typical objectives of testing, we covered seven objectives of testing. To prevent defects by evaluating work products such as requirements, user stories, design, and code. To verify whether all specified requirements have been fulfilled to check whether the test object is complete and validate if it works as the users and other stakeholders expect, to build confidence in the level of quality of the test object, to find defects and failures, thus reduce the level of risk of inadequate software quality, to provide sufficient information to stakeholders to allow them to make informed decisions especially regarding the level of quality of the test object, to comply with contractual, legal, or regulatory requirements or standards, and or to verify the test object's compliance with such requirements or standards. After the objective of testing, we covered testing and debugging, where we saw testing is done by the testers, Debugging is done by the developers. Purpose of testing is to show failures that are caused by defects in the software. Purpose of debugging is to find, analyze, and fix such defects. Agile model is an exception, where debugging may be done by the tester, with limited scope. Next, we covered why is testing necessary, where we saw testing is done to Find defects. Verify contract fulfillment. One needs to perform appropriate testing at appropriate levels. After that, we covered testing's contributions to success, where we saw how testing at requirement, design, code, and software level contribute to the success of the product. The next topic is quality assurance and testing. Over here, we covered quality assurance and testing are not the same. Quality management ties quality assurance and testing together. Quality management includes all activities that direct and control an organization with regards to quality. Among other activities, quality management includes both quality assurance and quality control. Quality assurance is typically focused on adherence to proper processes in order to provide confidence that the appropriate levels of quality will be achieved. Quality control involves various activities, including test activities, that support the achievement of appropriate levels of quality. Test activities are part of the overall software development or maintenance process. Quality assurance contributes to defect prevention. Quality control is a defect detection mechanism. Then, we covered errors, defects, and failures. In that, we saw 
An error is defined as a human action that produces an incorrect result. The definition for a defect is a flaw in a component or system that can cause the component or system to fail to perform its required function. Failure is defined as a deviation of the component or system from its expected delivery, service, or result. The fault is found by the tester in the development environment, whereas failure is found by the user in operational use, and it happens due to the deviation from the requirement. The fault is the cause of the failure. Next, we covered defect causes, where we saw two causes of defects, normal causes of defect and environmental cause of the defect where we have six normal defect causes, and they are time pressure, human fallibility, inexperienced and insufficiently skilled people, miscommunication or misunderstanding, the complexity of the code, and unfamiliar technologies. The three environmental causes of the defects are radiation, electromagnetic field, and pollution. Next, we covered seven testing principles. They are Testing shows the presence of defects, not their absence. Exhaustive testing is impossible. Early testing saves time and money. Defects cluster together. Beware of the pesticide paradox. Testing is context-dependent. Absence of errors is a fallacy.